For all intents and purposes, I'm pretty much invisible when I'm traveling in that RV. And I have traveled between Alaska and the Mexican border a few times. And it's not like I don't have a few vehicles. I've got a couple more over there. So I'm always traveling, always on the road, and I am invisible. And here's a few tips that you too can be invisible if you want to be. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Now the most powerful weapon you have when you are traveling on the highways and byways of America or even traveling in Europe or wherever you're traveling. Hey, I've traveled in many continents. You need to use this weapon. It's the most powerful thing you got and a little bit of applied psychology in conjunction with the noodle and you're gonna do just fine. Now you can't say it's blind luck that I have never had my RV searched or boarded at a border, never been pulled over by police in any jurisdiction and we're talking a lot of jurisdictions here because there's a few strategies I universally apply depending where I'm at. The first one is called the I'm just a dumb tourist. <laughs> Now the I'm just a dumb tourist psychological maneuver relies on the license plate that you have. For example, all my vehicles are registered in Canada with British Columbia license plates. So if I happen to be, say, in Washington State, Oregon, California, Nevada, hey, my license plate screams, hey, he's just a Canadian tourist. But the fact alone that you have a plate that is not from where you're at tends to signal that you probably are a tourist. Now the key to pulling this off, of course, is having a clean RV and not acting suspicious. Don't do crazy things. Don't attract negative attention. That's number, <laughs> that's one of the most important things to pulling off the I'm just a dumb tourist maneuver is you can't have attention drawn to you because it's just going to lead down a path you do not want to go. You also need to be very mindful of what you're doing. If you're doing a little bit of drinking, I mean alcohol, what you need to do is make sure that you cannot get charged with care and control of your vehicle while you're intoxicated. And the way to do that is to only drink and consume alcohol in your RV at an appropriate place. And make sure it looks like you're actually camped. Put the stairs out, put a chair out, maybe pull the awning out if it's appropriate, but don't do that in a Walmart parking lot because that's negative attention, just like I mentioned you should not do. But if you look like you're established for the night and the jurisdiction that you are camped in considers an RV a dwelling like most jurisdictions do, you're on the clear. You can have a few drinks, you could even be legally impaired and not be charged as long as you don't turn that key and drive. And you need to be very mindful on how you appear to others, especially the local constabulary, wherever you happen to be. Make sure that muffler is working properly, it's not too noisy. Make sure you don't have any weird bumper stickers that uh, might indicate that you are a radical. Okay? You might like cannabis. Great for you. Don't put that bumper sticker on the back of your RV because you could be in a place where somebody's got a hard on against that and they're going to make trouble for you. So you always got to be mindful and think of. How do others perceive me, especially law enforcement? That's all you need to do. Some people have a hard time walking a mile in other people's shoes. Other people do not. That's probably why I don't get pulled over. I just uh, like the invisible factor. I just don't like the attention. Call me old fashioned. Call me cheap. I don't like paying fines when I don't have to. And I definitely don't like to pay an impound and tow fee from my RV when I don't need to. But that's just me. Hey, maybe you're rich. Maybe you like to do that. I don't know. Hey, fill your boots if you do. I know it's been said before. It's stating the obvious. But what about proper registration, a valid driver's license, and insurance? You gotta have that. But the big tip off is if your registration is not current, oh boy, you done gonna get pulled over. So make sure you got the proper tags on your RV when you're driving because the last thing you need is that negative attention. And now you've got some fines to pay, boy. So remember, when you're RVing, you're just a tourist. You're just a guy out to have some fun at a campground. You're not out to bother anybody. You keep a calm demeanor, keep your wits about you, and keep calm. Don't do anything stupid, don't attract negative attention, and you're going to have no problems. It's not a coincidence that I have driven on three continents 
I own three vehicles. I drive all the time. I drive every day. I just, I just drive, drive, drive. And I don't have any problems. And I'm not a Sunday driver where I got the two hands at uh, 10 and 2 and I'm doing the speed limit. Absolutely not. But you need to apply the power of psychology and always be mindful of how you appear to others so they don't pick up the phone and cause problems for you or a police officer decides they want to have a chat with you and get to know you a little bit better. And trust me, a lot of you viewers that are watching, I have driven through your town at one time or another all over North America. And guess what? You didn't hear from me. You didn't read about me in the newspaper. Nothing happened. Because I like to be invisible. Do you like to be invisible? I sure as heck do. Tell me in the comments below if you like being invisible. Or if you just don't know how to be invisible. Hey, just put her all down there. I don't care what you say. It's uh, it's fascinating how this uh, pans out for most people. But in the meantime, folks, stay safe. Keep your wheels on that ground no matter where you travel here during peak RV season. And I will talk to you soon. Over and out. That can ease the pain and the sorrow.